Hello guys, how are you? Martins here and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create perfect watercolor effect, uh, something like this. And I think it's the easiest and best looking watercolor effect, but it's only my opinion. And okay, I hope you guys enjoyed and let's start. You need two images to create this. The first is uh, this paper texture. Uh, you can find a lot of paper texture on the website. For example, I find this on DeviantArt. I link it in the description if you are interested in. Also on DeviantArt you can find a lot of other paper texture. And the second image is portrait image. For example, here is face talk from DeviantArt. Also I link her in the description. And at first uh, we need to uh, cut the face. For this I use a pen tool and you don't have to be accurate when you cut this because it doesn't matter. OK, now click right, make selection and OK. Then click selection to click right and layer via cut to cut this part. I need to change the image size because it's a, it's a pretty huge. And then using move tool, uh, move it, uh, drag it to your uh, paper texture. Now we need to clear the edges. Now we need to clear the edges. Uh, clear this image using eraser tool. You can use, uh, for example, only a, a soft round. But uh, for this, I use this. Uh, I use this splash water brush, and you can find and you can find it on uh, Brushesy. I find this on Brushesy. Also, I link it in the description if you are interested in. And to load these brushes to your Photoshop, click this small icon and then click load brushes. Find these brushes on your computer and then click load. And OK, so now I uh, clear this image a little. That's why we don't need to be accurate when we make selection. Because as you see, we destroy this image. And okay, I think it's enough. Uh, and now we need to desaturate this image. So go to image, adjustments and click desaturate. Uh, and now our image is ready to make watercolor effect, but I want to improve something. So go to filter. And if you have a Photoshop CS6, go to filter gallery. Um, in older version is uh, something different, but uh, but I'm not sure what exactly. Uh, so you need to find uh, somewhere else your uh, filters, or if you don't have it, uh, just use uh, Tersalt, or you don't need to use uh, any any filter. Uh, click artistic, then watercolor, 
and click OK. And now our image uh, look like this. So now we just need to add some. Uh, so now we need to add some water splash. Create new layer. Click brush tool. And here we have our water splash brushes and just use it. Of course, remember about uh, color black. And just by uh, clicking on your image, uh, paint your paint, whatever you want. Okay, I think something like this. And of course, I believe you can do it better than me because I'm not so good in uh, such a things. So now click this small icon at the bottom and go to gradient and select uh, your gradient, whatever you want. Maybe something like this, then change blend mode to screen. And it's how it looks like. I I think it looks uh, pretty okay, pretty nice. You can add some contrast using curves. Make it a little darker if you want. Of course, you can use uh, other gradient. And uh, you can change blend mode to overlay, for example, and you get this really dark effect. But I don't like it. I prefer the screen. I know I should be careful more uh, in uh, here. Uh, maybe I, I I make a small correction, like here. And okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope you like this uh, image and effect. I think it's the easiest way and give you so much options to create your own uh, unique style. If you are first time on this channel and if you like Photoshop tutorials and stuff like this, subscribe this channel. If you have any question, leave a comment or if you want to share with me your opinion, feel free to leave a comment as I said and See you guys in the next Photoshop tutorials. Thank you.